Britain is determined that in this new air age, her civil aircraft shall be as safe as any in the world. And here is one of the men who helped to make them so. Captain Stone, test pilot for British Overseas Airways Corporation. Captain Stone is going down to the seaplane base at Hythe for a routine test on a reconditioned flying boat. First of all, there must be a careful check with the maintenance engineers on the work in progress. The flying boat is a short Sunderland, used by RAF Coastal Command for long-range reconnaissance and convoy patrol work. Now, converted into a civil-type aircraft, she'll carry 22 passengers to Australia and back with safety, speed and comfort. All the crew and technicians who have worked on the flying boat accompany Captain Stone on the test flight. Good show. Controls all OK. Notice how the Bristol Pegasus engines are started up singly. over the blue waters of the English Channel. Up in the air, every detail of flying control will be thoroughly tested and progress radioed back to base. The first report goes back. Captain Stone is not completely satisfied yet, and soon he's going to land for some minor adjustments to be made. Captain Stone rechecks his queries with the maintenance engineers. The mechanics get busy. Ground staff are just as important to a plane as the men who fly it. the second flight, and this time all should be well. who worked on the boat give it a critical eye. They're satisfied and so is the pilot on board. British planes flying to all parts of the world are safe in the hands of men like these. Britain can build the planes, but no plane can be better than the men who fly it. Rest assured, Britain has a great future in the air because Britain has the men. <laughs>